All right, we're going to get started looking at some of the tools you're going to need for circuit bending. This is just kind of a bare bones basic list. You can spend as much money as you want, or you can get by with probably as little as $40 or less on tools. And in fact, you may already have some of these tools at home. The first thing we're going to look at is the soldering iron. This is just a standard hobby type soldering iron. It does have interchangeable tips. I do suggest a very thin pencil point type tip uh, just because we're going to need to get into some very tight places when circuit bending. The next thing is solder. There's nothing too special about this. It's just regular rosin core solder. It happens to be very thin, a .032 inch diameter uh, because once again we're going to be needing to get into some tight places in circuit bending. Next we're going to look at hookup wire. This is going to connect points from the circuit board to any of the controls we hook up, such as toggle switches, knobs, body contacts, things like that. I use a 20 gauge stranded hookup wire. Stranded, as you can see, because it is actually made up of strands of smaller wire. The reason why is it's a lot more flexible and 20 gauge, that way we can get into tight spots. This is a 20 gauge solid core wire. You notice when you bend it, it will hold its shape. The reason I don't really use this is because it has a tendency to break a lot easier than the stranded wire. These are wire cutters or diagonal cutters sometimes is what they're called. You'll use these to be cutting off the hookup wire or any other small parts, small pieces of metal, etc. Uh, pieces of plastic sometimes to snip off. These are wire strippers. These particular pair go from 10 gauge to 20 gauge. Once again, 20 gauge being what I use. You'll use this to strip back the insulation jacket around the wire. That way we can solder the wire to any of the points we need. One thing I can never seem to have too many of are screwdrivers. This is just a very, very small portion of what I have. I actually have quite a few dozen screwdrivers. You'll want just some normal flathead and Phillips screwdrivers along with the jeweler type screwdrivers. The reason why is later we're going to use these to actually help find bend points on the circuit boards. Another necessity is a drill along with drill bits. This particular set of drill bits goes all the way from 1 16th of an inch all the way up to 3 8 of an inch and that gets me pretty much everything that I've ever needed with circuit bending. You're going to be using those to drill holes in your project for everything from LEDs to switches to potentiometers. I also recommend having a few pairs of pliers. Any type of pliers will do, except the one thing I do highly recommend is a pair of needle nose pliers. These will get you in all kinds of tight spots to either feed wires or hold components while you're soldering them. Or if you happen to drop a part in behind a circuit board, these will be able to get in there and you'll be able to reach those. Real quick, a couple of things that aren't necessarily requirements but that I find useful are a few crescent wrenches. I can use these to tighten up the nuts on both the toggle switches and potentiometers once I'm mounting them. A set of needle files or jeweler's files. We can uh, get into very tight spots once we've cut or drilled and needed to file down any plastic or metal pieces. And a hot glue gun, which just is kind of an all-around fix-it-all. We'll get into some of the uses of that later on. All right, the final thing that I highly recommend is a notebook or a folder of some type. It'll allow you to take notes on some of the bins you've done. Also, you'll want to have a digital camera and print out photos of the circuit board, which I'll show you later. You'll want to keep those in here for later in case you want to modify your project even more or if you come across another one. Also, with the digital camera, you can take pictures of your final project so you can show it off on the web or to your friends.